you need to go to a support home. He sent me to a support home. And before that, I'd been an inner city dweller. So he said, you need to go to a support home at Mount Gravatt. And I was like, where is that? And he said, it's a 15 minute drive down the freeway. And I got to this support home that was run by Christians and I thought they were all insane. And um, basically part of the program was prayer meeting, part of the program was church, part of the meeting, you know, they, they would come in and sing Jesus songs on a guitar and I would be like, what is going on? Where am I? And I felt a bit like the twilight zone. I didn't realize it was a conspiracy from heaven and that the father of all creation had been waiting for me for that moment to choose him. And so six weeks into the program, one day at church, walked up the front, don't remember how I got there, said basically along the lines of, okay, God, if everything that these people have said and shown me about you is true, then I dare you to take me. And he did. And that began my life transformation journey at the age of 24. And did everyone notice the massive change in your life after that? (laughs) (laughs) It was huge. It started in my eyes. It started in my eyes because when I'd used drugs, you know, people were just like, you look like you're formed up. And so the light started to come through my eyes. And then the next thing that they noticed was my language, because I used to swear a lot. Um, I, they would have never let me in front of a TV camera, pretty much. And um, Well, they may have. There just would have been a lot of beeps. It, it, yeah, <laughs> a lot of beeps. And the producer would have not been very happy. And so they noticed that, and then they noticed my attitude, because I used to be really violent and angry. And that started to change and they were like wow and then the other people in the home were like wow this is really something because if it can work for her it could work for me and then there was a revival in the home and I've just been recording the audio version of my first book Trophy of Grace which has been an incredible experience to read that out loud and journeying back through my own story and as I've been reading it I've been like wow I remember that I remember that I remember that not all the good bits I remember that too but I remember there was a revival in the house one weekend and it was a revival of joy and we were just laughing like wild, crazy, hilarious people who had all been former drug addicts who now have the joy of the Lord as their strength and um, it's been an incredible journey.